Hello and welcome dear professionals and learners for the new video on stratified sampling part 1 explain step by step in this video you will understand the stratified sampling why it is required and the exact procedure step by step see strata or stratum means a subgroup in this sampling subgroups are made strata are made for sampling that's why it is called as a stratified sampling and stratified sampling is a well planned sampling with a correct and proper written protocol blend sampling that is bu sampling of the lubricated blend is the first step in the stratified sampling see uh, in the tablet and capsule manufacturing first the lubricated blend is prepared and then that lubricated blend is compressed into tablet or filled into the capsules so after lubrication and just prior to compression the St uh, stages uh, of the stratified sampling starts so the first step is bu sampling the sample should be taken from the blending stage just prior to tablet compression or capsule filling process then the sampling is a part of stratified uh, stratified sampling is a part of process validation nowadays uh, the two guidelines are there which are used for the uniformity of doses units and content uniformity that is bu and cu so astm e2709 is for standard practice for demonstrating capability to comply with acceptance procedure and astm e2810 is for standard practice for demonstrating capability to comply with the test for uniformity of doses units for demonstrating doses unit uniformity that is content uniformity or uniformity of the doses units that can be used to evaluate content uniformity that means these two guidelines are for blend uniformity and the content uniformity see as per usp the content uniformity wa was done at last uh, on the 10 units so based on the 10 units the whole batch cannot be rejected or approved so this sampling type and these guidelines came into the picture stratified sampling step by step now we will uh, study from uh, uh, blend uniformity uh, testing step 1 uh, take 10 location in the blender for bu sampling in triplicate this is a very common practice in pharmaceutical industries uh, BU for BU sampling, we have to decide 10 locations and we have to collect the samples in triplicates. That is 10 into 3, 30 samples. 3 set of 10 samples each. Step 2, perform assay of 1 sample each location. So now we have 10 assay values. First of all, out of this triplicate sample, one set will be analyzed for assay. Now, the blend uniformity acceptance criteria at this stage is standard deviation is is equal to or less than 3% of the target so this will be the stage 1 criteria for stratified sampling now see the blend uniformity limit relative standard deviation of all individual values less than or equal to 5% all individual results are within 10% of the mean of the results that is 90 to 110 uh, 110% of the label claim here in this part we will study the blend uniformity acceptance criteria as per stage 1 that is the blend uniformity results with standard deviation of less than or equal to 3% of the target see you have taken the samples in triplicate and analyze the set 1 so here are the values average is 99.7 minimum is 96.9 Maximum is 104.7. Your standard deviation is 2.82. So you are passing the stage 1 criteria of stratified, uni stratified sampling. Doges units samples during filling or compression. Take at least 3 samples of, from at least 40 locations across the batch. What is the meaning of this sentence in the guideline we will study in the next slide. See, you have 10, look, 10 assay in your hand, that assay is, the, that blend uniformity results are okay and the blend uniformity is acceptable 
it is passing with standard deviation of less than 3% now we have to divide the entire compression or capsule filling run into 40 locations as per the guideline so you have taken the samples the blend uniformity is passing and now you have lubricated blend your hand okay now lubricated blend you have in your hand and you have to divide the compression run into 40 locations that is strata so batch size of 10 kg blend you have for example ready for compression tablet weight is 100 mg or capsule fill weight is 100 mg batch size is 1 lakh tablets your compression machine speed is very important here to decide the uh, locations across compression run so if your compression uh, machine speed is 1000 tablets per minute the compression will run for 100 minutes considering the batch size of 1 lakh tablets now stratified sample of 3 tablets every 2.5 minutes to be collected because we have to divide 100 minute of compression run into 40 different locations that means the time intervals total sample 3 tablets into 40 locations in compression run of 100 minutes so you will get 120 tablets please understand that this calculation needs your 100% attention here so watch the video till the end now total sample of 3 tablets into 40 locations in compression run here location means the time intervals you have 120 tablets now one like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and up to 40 you will have even number of samples and odd number of samples so 20 will be the even number and 20 will be the odd number of samples so even number 20 into 3 this becomes 60 tablets then odd number sample 20 into 3 it becomes 60 tablets out of 120 you have divided the samples into even and odd and now you have 60 tablets even number samples and 60 tablets odd number samples so acceptance criteria stage 1 is all individual values within 75% to 125% and complies with statistical test to provide an appropriate level of assurance to comply with the USP for number number is the total number of assay results so here you have to analyze all the 60 tablets means out of these 40 locations or time interval samples you have to collect you have to separate even number or odd number you can take any one but generally odd number is taken now you have locations even and odd you have taken odd samples 1 3 5 7 these samples you have taken number of number of tablets at each location is now three tablets so total 20 into 3 it becomes 60 so total 60 values will be generated for assay now you have 60 assay values in your hand and you put into the excel sheet provided by astm and you will get the exact result where you are where the process is whether the process is under control or not whether you comply to the uh, requirement of astm for uh, contain uniformity or not so these values are hypothetical values i have considered from minimum 95 percent to 104 percent and included here so overall mean is 98.2 between location standard deviation is 0 0.80 within location standard deviation is 2.41 and as per the limits it is passing yes it is showing pass it is showing yes so here the statistical calculations are being done in this excel sheet and it will also give a beautiful graph that how much uh, variation is there in the assay values of 60 units so now to get the good bu results and bu results affect the content uniformity results 
so some best practices i am giving here that design the process which gives the best blend uniformity you have to select the formulation and process which will give you the best blend uniformity then understand the isp and astm guidelines for stratified sampling learn these guidelines in detail then avoid view sampling errors then proper view sampling is the key if your view sampling has some errors or it is not proper then it will reflect into view and it will in turn affect the content uniformity so this was regarding the first part for stratified sampling it is not possible to cover this entire topic in a single run so the upcoming parts will come which in which we will discuss how the uh, blend uniformity or uh, stratified sampling fails and what are the remedies the references for this are usp and astm guidelines so i think this video is useful to you people many of the industry people and uh, uh, many of the uh, professionals uh, find this topic difficult to understand so i have made a video on this so stay tuned to this channel please like share and subscribe thank you